All right, so today we're going to cover problem 1B from the calc exam. So it's asking for the component of a unit normal vector for the plane Q projected onto the unit direction vector for this uh, line that was in the previous part of the problem. All right, so to start this problem off, I'm going to note that the equation for the normal vector of Q is embedded in this equation, and we can easily figure it out. And that's because if I have two points, I'm just going to reiterate this from last time, if I have two points in the plane Q, let's say x and x naught, then um, this equation is satisfied for x, y, z, and this equation is also satisfied for the x naught, because they're both lie in the plane. And so then subtracting these equations, I'm going to get 2 times x minus x naught plus y minus y naught plus z minus c naught is equal to 0. And so I observe that the vector of these coefficients 2, 1, and 1, which is the coefficients of x, y, and z, um, dot product with uh, x minus x naught, y minus y naught, z minus z naught, is um, identically zero. This defines the plane. Okay, and so really what this is saying is that if I have a point x and a point x naught, if x naught is fixed, then x can be any arbitrary point on the plane. The point is that when I subtract these um, two vectors, I get a vector that lies on the plane itself. And when I dot product this with the normal, I always have to get zero by the definition of the normal vector. So for this reason, the coefficients of the normal vector in this sort of um, form for the plane equation are literally just the coefficients of x, y, and z. Okay? So it's really that easy um, to get the normal vector. So I'm going to write that as n hat is equal to 2, 1, 1. Okay? And now I want to make it unit, right? So um, I already, yeah, I should have put the unit sign here. So this is the, this is the normal vector. And then I'm going to make it, I'm going to scale its length. So I'm just going to divide by the length of this current vector, which is uh, square root of 2 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared here. So this is the, I'm just going to scale this vector by its length, divide by its length, to make it have a length of 1. Okay. So um, we get this as the square root of 6, I believe. So I'm going to have. Uh, 2 over root 6, 1 over root 6, 1 over root 6. So this is my um, unit normal vector. Okay, And I want the unit direction vector for L now. So if I look at the direction vector for L, okay, um, you could either like find two points on L and subtract them, or you could look at the fact that a direction vector is simply the direction along which L changes, which is basically its time derivative. So since L is already parameterized with respect to time, I immediately know that the direction vector for L, let's just call it L, let's just call it um, little l here. I immediately know that this is just going to be the coefficients of um, time in this parameterization, OK? So this is just going to be negative 1, 2, and negative 3, OK? And observe that um, you could you could find this by just plugging in two values of t and subtracting um, the two points on the line to get a ve direction vector. But this way is faster because um, you can just look at the coefficients of t. All right. So this is the direction vector for the line. And now, again, I'm going to divide by its length. Okay. And so um, the length of this vector, square root of 1, I'll just write it out so you all can see, plus 2 squared plus 3 squared. We've got 9 plus 4 plus 1 here. It's going to be 14. So we have a uh, 1 over root 14 times this. All right. And so now we want to project this vector n hat onto um, the unit direction vector for L. Okay. So um, essentially, to project a vector onto a different vector, all you need to do is take the dot product, okay? So remember that if I dot product two vectors, this um, geometrically is n hat l hat cosine theta, okay? Um, which basically gives me, if I have two vectors like this, here's the angle between them, 
then um, if I look at this term, let's say this is L, this is N. So this uh, L hat cosine theta is precisely, um, sorry, excuse me, this, the N hat cosine theta, the N hat cosine theta term is precisely this, uh, the magnitude of this projection geometrically of N hat onto L, okay? So really all we need is that L, the vector that we're projecting onto, have a magnitude of one. So we really only need that L, um, we really only need L to be like normalized in order for this to, to work. And then essentially we just need to, this gives us the magnitude, it's going to be magnitude of N times the cosine of the angle between them, which is just given by their dot product, okay? And then the direction is just going to be the direction of L, okay? So just to be clear, I'm going to use the fact that um, the projection of, um, of n hat onto l hat, okay, is basically given by n hat dot l hat times l hat, okay? And in fact, I wouldn't need this to be normalized. This could be just an arbitrary vector, okay? And this would still work out to be the projection, okay? As long as l has unit magnitude because of the geometric formula I just showed you, okay? So this is actually how you, um, this is a really important idea and it's how you determine like the components of a vector. If you like, suppose that you want to change coordinates, you want to go from Cartesian to spherical or to some other weird coordinate system in physics, you might, uh, in, to find the components in your new coordinate system, you just need to dot product um, your vector with the with the um, like direction vector, the unit direction vector for the new coordinate system, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and do this and conclude, wrap this up. So basically, I'm going to get, um, I, want, I want just the component here. So the component is just going to be n hat dot l hat, okay? Um, and then obviously the direction is l hat, so I'm just going to take the dot product here, okay? And, um, I'm going to observe that, uh, sorry, not a vector. I'm going to have uh, 2 over root 6 times 1 over root 14. So, and then we could write this out, but notice it'd be a lot faster if I factored out these constants to begin with. So these um, normalization lengths um, are kind of just like annoying to deal with. So I could work out the math here and say root six times root 14, that's root 84. Yeah, root 84, um, we've got two. So we're going to get negative 3 over root 84. Um, but it, it would also be faster. You can just basically, instead of writing it a lot like this, you can observe that n over n, this is n hat, dot with uh, l over l. So basically we can factor out the scalars, which are the length adjustments here. And so I get uh, like this. And now I can just compute the dot product uh, with the nicer looking vectors, n and l. And so I, I'm just going to get negative 2 plus 2 is 0 minus 3, so negative 3 over root 14 times root 6, which again is root 84. Um, so yeah, I think that's all for this problem. And I'll see you next time.